Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for standing by for Data's fourth quarter and fiscal year 2023 earnings conference call. At this time, all participants are in listen-only mode. After the management's prepared remarks, there will be a question and answer session. As a reminder, today's conference call is being recorded. I would now like to turn the meeting over to your host for today's call, Ms. Caroline Dong, Head of Investor Relations for Data. Please proceed. Thank you, Operator. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining our fourth quarter and the Physical Year 2023 Earnings Conference call. On the call today from Data, we have Mr. Bing Fu, Interim President, and Mr. Harry Jun Mao, CFO. Mr. Fu will talk about our operations and company highlights. Then, Mr. Mao will discuss the financials. They will both be available to answer your questions during the Q&A session. Please kindly note that Mr. Fu will give his remarks and answer questions in Chinese, and the consecutive translation will be provided. In case of any discrepancy between the original remarks and the translated version, statements in the original remarks should prevail. Before we begin, I'd like to remind you that this conference call contains forward-looking statements. Please refer to our latest safe harbor statement in the earnings press release on our IR website, which applies to this call. Also, during this call, we will discuss certain non-gap financial measures. Please also refer to our earnings press release, which contains a reconciliation of non-gap measures to the comparable gap measures. Finally, please note that, unlike otherwise stated, all figures mentioned during this conference call are in RMB. It is now my pleasure to introduce our interim president, Mr. Fu. Mr. Fu, please go ahead. Thank you, Caroline. Thank you, Caroline, and thank you all for joining us. Before I introduce you to the company's growth, I will tell you the company on the 3rd 公布的独立审查结果。此前一月，我们披露了在例行的公司内部审计过程中，公司发现了涉及2023年的前三个季度在线广告和营销服务收入和成本可能高估的情况。公司对此事非常重视，董事会审计委员会立即启动了独立审查，由一家领先的国际律师事务所。和一家国际咨询事务所的法务会计专家协助进行。该事务所并非公司的审计师。在审查工作基本完成后，我们于三月五日公布了调查结果和整改措施，包括在必要和适当的情况下，更正过去的相关财务相关季度财务报表中的某些信息。大家应该也已经看到，二零二三年前三个季度，因更正后的季度财务数据，已在此此次业绩公布中一并披露。需要提醒注意的是，针对独立调查结果而进行的历史数据的更正，并没有影响相应期间的净利润以及现金余额。Before we get into the highlight from the quarter. I would like to address the recent independent review results released by the company on March the 5th, 2024. Back in January, we disclosed that during a routine internal audit, the company identified potential overstatement in revenues and costs related to online advertising and marketing services for the first three quarters of 2023. The company took this matter seriously. And the audit committee of the board immediately initiated an independent review with the assistance of a third-party independent professional advisors, consisting of a leading international law firm and forensic accounting experts from an international consulting firm that is not the company's auditor. Upon the substantial completion of the review, we announced the findings and remedial measures on March the 5th. Including correction of certain information 
in the relevant past financial statements that are necessary and appropriate. As you may have noticed, the corrected line items of financial statements for the first three quarters of 2023 are presented in our earnings release, and it's important to note that neither net profit or loss nor cash balance was impacted by the correction in the corresponding periods. 秉承我们强化公司治理的承诺，我们将加强公司的内部政策、系统和控制以及记录保存，加强监控和监督机制，实施更加严格的内部审计，以提升公司各层级的透明度、责任感和诚信度。As part of our dedication to reinforcing corporate governance, we will enhance the company's internal policies. Systems and controls, and record keeping, and implement rigorous internal audits with enhanced monitoring and oversight mechanisms going forward to strengthen transparency, accountability, and integrity at all levels of the company. 接下来，我将介绍公司的财务和业务表现。二三年第四季度，尽管面临着一系列挑战，达达集团的收入和运营效率。稳步提升，总收入同比增长百分之三，经调整净利润率同比改善一个百分点。Now let's go through our financial and business performance. During the fourth quarter of 2023, though faced with challenges, Dada Group made steady progress in improving both top line and operating efficiency. Our total net revenues increased by three percent. And adjusted net margin improved by one percentage point year over year. 在展开京东到家和达达快送两个平台的业务亮点之前，先向大家介绍我们与京东集团的合作进展。京东到家客，我们持续渗透京东用户，并优化用户体验。第四季度，小时达月均下单用户同比增长百分之五十。分路口看。第四季度，小时达独立频道的 DAU 同比增长超过百分之一百，这主要得益于首页点击率的提升，同时频道内的点击转化率同比提升超过一个百分点，这共同推动小时达频道线上 GMV 同比增长超过百分之两百。此外，在搜索入口中。第四季度，通过搜索后主动筛选小时达而成交的 GMV 同比增长百分之三十，体现京东用户的小时达心智在持续提升。Before I get into the operational highlights from our two platforms, a brief update on our cooperation with JD.com. With respect to JDDJ, we continued to reach more JD users. And optimize their user experience. In the fourth quarter, the number of monthly average Xiaoshida transacting users increased by 50% year on year. To break down by entry point, the standalone Xiaoshida tab saw its DAU more than double year on year, driven by increased click-through rate on the JD homepage. Meanwhile, order conversion rate within the Xiaoshida tab. Increased by more than one percentage point year on year. As a result, GMV generated by online traffic on the Xiao Shida tab more than tripled year on year. For search result exposure, another major entry point on JD. We're glad to see that GMV generated by users who actively filter out non-Xiao Shida products among search results increased by 30% year on year. In the fourth quarter, demonstrating growing on-demand mindshare among JD users. Dada 快送与京东集团的合作也进一步加深。第四季度，达达快送持续为京东的即时配送需求提供履约保障，完单量同比增长约百分之一百。Meanwhile, Dada Now's cooperation with JD.com further strengthened. In the fourth quarter. Dada Now continued to provide dedicated support to JD's on-demand delivery needs, 
with orders fulfilled nearly doubling year on year. 下面介绍京东到家在第四季度以及近期的进展。第四季度，京东到家继续深化与大型连锁商家的合作，同时致力于赋能更多中小商家。截至二零二三年底，京东到家平台已经上线了超过五十万家零售门店，门店数量较二零二二年底同比增长超过百分之一百。Now let's go through the detailed fourth quarter operational highlights for JDDJ, the leading local on-demand retail platform in China. In the fourth quarter, we continued to deepen cooperation with large chains and empower more SMEs. As of the end of 2023, JDDJ had onboarded over 500,000 retail stores, more than doubling from the end of 2022. 在连锁商超品类，我们与九十多家百强商超以及各个区域的龙头超市保持紧密合作，为平台用户带来行业领先的优质供给。In the supermarket category, we cooperated closely with over 90 out of the top 100 supermarket chains, as well as regional champions. To provide our users with industry-leading high-quality supplies. In 便利店品类，我们进一步加深了与京东便利店、美一家、罗森等主要商家的合作。第四季度 GMV 同比增长超过四倍。At the same time, we deepened the cooperation with major convenience store chains, such as JD Convenience Store, the offline store format empowered by JD.com. Meijia, the largest convenience store operator in China, in terms of store count, and Lawson, the fifth largest by the same metric. Total GMV generated by convenience stores in the fourth quarter increased by more than four times year on year. In 消费在消费电子品类，手机方面，第四季度 ，OPPO、三星等品牌 GMV 同比增长超过百分之一百。电脑数码方面，第四季度数码产品品类 GMV 保持同比百分之五十以上的快速增长。同时，我们在充电器等配件品类也取得了显著的进展。Moving on to consumer electronics in the smartphone category, the GMV of OPPO and Samsung mobile phones more than doubled year on year in Q4. In the computer and accessory category, digital products maintained rapid GMV growth of more than 50% year on year, and we also made significant progress in essential accessories such as chargers. 在家电家居品类，本季度我们新签约松下、老板等家电品牌，并深化凯迪仕等领先电子锁品牌的合作，推动该品类。超过一万家新门店的上线。第四季度，家电 GMV 同比增长超过百分之五十，家具 GMV 同比增长近百分之一百。Turning to the home appliance and home furnishing category, during the quarter, we established new partnerships with major appliance brands such as Panasonic and Rodan, Rodan, one of China's top kitchen appliance brands. Meanwhile, we worked more closely with leading smart lock manufacturers such as Kedas, Kaidi Shi. Collectively, we nearly onboarded over 10,000 home appliance and home furnishing stores onto our platform. As a result, in the fourth quarter, GMV of home appliance merchants increased by more than 50% year on year, while GMV of home furnishing merchants nearly doubled year on year. 在酒水品类，得益于区域门店的拓展 ，GMV 同比增长超过三倍。In the liquor category, GMV in the fourth quarter increased by more than three times year on year, driven by regional store expansion. 在服饰品类，得益于持续拓展运动户外服饰供给、差异化商品运营等策略。
第四季度服饰品类的 GMV 同比增长超过三倍。In the apparel category, GMV surged more than threefold, driven by our continued expansion in the sports and outdoor segment and differentiation of product offerings. 技术赋能一直是我们与零售商合作的重点。截至二零二三年底，我们面向零售商的全渠道。O2O 运营系统海博已覆盖超过 1.3 万家门店，同比增长超过 40%。年，即使海博合作的商家数显著增长，商家留存率仍达到约 90%。这也体现了商家对海博系统帮助他们提升运营效率的认可。海博持续迭代功能模块，帮助商家解决痛点，并进一步提效。例如，在第四季度，我们新增了订单风控引擎，通过智能识别虚假订单，实时监控预警，提高商家风控能力与经营安全效能。Technological empowerment is an important focus in our partnership with retailers. Hybo, our omni-channel OTO operating system, has been deployed in more than 13,000 stores as of year-end 2023, an increase of over 40% from the end of 2022. In 2023, Hybo's customer retention rate Remained at around 90%, despite a significantly enlarged customer base. This underscores the recognition among merchants of Hybo's ability to enhance their operational efficiency. We continue to add more features to Hybo and improve its existing functionality to help merchants address pain points and improve operations. For example, in the fourth quarter. Hybo added a new feature to intelligently identify fraudulent orders and provide real-time monitoring and alert, thus enhancing merchants' risk control capabilities and operational security. 以上是京东到家的业务进展。接下来与大家同步达达快送的业务进展。截至二零二三年底，达达快送的即时配和落地配业务分别覆盖超过。两千五百和两千六百个市区线，进一步渗透更多的低线市场。二零二三年，达达快送的活跃提示数同比增长超过百分之二十，至超过一百二十万。作为众包配送平台的就业蓄水池的作用，进一步被放大。Let's move on to Dada now. The leading local on-demand delivery platform in China. As of the end of 2023, our intra-city delivery and last-mile businesses covered over 2,500 and over 2,600 cities and counties, respectively, penetrating into more low-tier cities. In 2023, we had more than 1.2 million. Annual active riders on the DadaNow platform, an increase of more than 20% year on year, further expanding flexible employment opportunities for a wide range of workers. From the business side, first is KA, that is the company service. The fourth quarter, KA business is growing at a high volume. The total volume is growing by 20%. The number of sales. 同比持续提升，履约率超过百分之九十五。此外，二零二二年收入贡献前五十的 K 客户，百分之一百持续在二零二三年接受达达快送的服务，体现了商家对达达快送履约服务质量和性价比的认可。For our KA or chain merchant business, in the fourth quarter, KA business delivered high-quality growth. With orders fulfilled increasing by more than 20% year on year, average gross profit per order continuously improving year on year, and fulfillment rate at above 95%. The quality and cost-effectiveness of our fulfillment services 
remain well recognized by merchants. Notably, all of the top 50 revenue contributors among our KA clients in 2022 continued to rely on our services in 2023. 最佳战略合作伙伴奖 In the beverage KA category, orders fulfilled increased by more than 60% year on year in the fourth quarter. In October, we received the Best Strategic Partner Award from Looking Coffee, the largest coffee chain in China by store count. In addition, we also received recognition from Cha Ji, a popular new style tea chain in China, having fulfilled a rapidly growing volume of orders with high quality service since the establishment of our strategic partnership in early 2023. In the restaurant KA category, orders fulfilled for newly partnered brands such as Tastian, a Chinese-style burger chain, also ramped up quickly. 其次是中小商家和个人配业务得益于定价能力的优化专业市场等新场景的开拓以及下沉市场的持续渗透完单量在上年同期高基数上人同比增长超过 Moving on to our SME and C2C business. The number of SME and C2C orders fulfilled in the fourth quarter increased by more than 20% year on year uh, from the high base in the prior year period, driven by pricing optimization, expansion into new verticals, and increased penetration into lower tier cities. 我们以稳健的业绩结束了2023年，迈入2024年。我们会继续将健康增长作为业务战略的整体指导方向，从而为股东创造更大的价值。接下来，请Henry介绍我们第四季度和全年的财务表现。好，谢谢大家。This concludes the overview of our business performance. To wrap up, it was a robust close to the year. And heading into 2024, we will continue to place healthy growth at the heart of our overall strategy for creating shareholder value. I will now pass the call over to Henry to go through our financials for the fourth quarter and the fiscal year 2023. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Fu. I'm pleased to be on my first earnings call as CFO of Tata Group to discuss our financial performance with our valued analysts and investors. Just a few housekeeping items before we go over the numbers. We believe year-over-year -year comparisons are the most useful way to evaluate our performance. Therefore, all percentage changes I'm going to give will be on year-over-year -year basis. And all figures are in RMB, unless otherwise noted. In addition, figures for full year 2023 have reflected the correction of past financial statements details of which are laid out in Annex to our earnings release. Total net revenues in the fourth quarter increased by 3% to $2.75 billion. Net revenues from JDDJ reached $1.55 billion, mainly due to the decrease in the online advertising and marketing services revenue. Net revenues from Data Now increased by 36% to $1.2 billion, mainly driven by the increases in order volume of intra-city delivery services to chain merchants. Moving over to cost and expense side, operations and support costs were $1.9 billion. The increase was primarily due to an increase in rider cost as a result of increasing order volume for intra-city delivery services provided to various chain merchants. 
selling and marketing expenses decreased to $1 billion, primarily due to a decrease in promotional activities conducted on JDDJ platform and a decrease in advertising and marketing expenses. General and administrative expenses decreased to $89 million as a result of decreased amortization of intangibles related with the acquisition of JDDJ in 2016 and a reduced share based compensation expenses. Research and development expenses decreased to $91 million, mainly due to lower R&D personnel costs. Impairment loss of goodwill was $958 million for the fourth quarter of 2023. Non-gap net loss was $159 million, an improvement compared with a loss of $179 million in the fourth quarter of 2022. Non-gap net loss margin was 5.8%, improving by one percentage point year over year. As of December 31, 2023, we had $4 billion in cash, cash equivalents, restricted cash, and short-term investments. I will now quickly run through a few key full-year 2023 financial results. Further details can be found in our earnings release. Total net revenues in 2023 increased by 12% to $10.5 billion with revenue from JDDJ growing by 5% to $6.5 billion, and revenue from DataNow growing by 27% to $4 billion. Operations and support costs were $6.5 billion, compared with $5.7 billion in 2022. Selling and marketing expenses were $4.5 billion, compared with $4.7 billion last year. General and administrative expenses were $253 million compared with $409 million in 2022. Research and development, development expenses were $460 million compared with $631 million in 2022. Our non-GAAP net loss was $342 million compared with $1.3 billion in 2022. Non-GAAP net loss margin was 3.3%, improving by 11 percentage points year over year. In addition, we have announced that the Board of Directors have authorized a share repurchase program of up to USD 40 million of American depository shares funded by our existing cash balance for a two-year period through March 2026. Our decision to repurchase shares is part of our broader strategy to create long-term value for our shareholders. We will stay committed to prioritizing shareholder interest and enhancing shareholder returns. This concludes our prepared remarks. Operator, we are now ready to begin the Q&A session. Thank you. Thank you. If you wish to ask a question, please press star 1 on your telephone and wait for your name to be announced. If you wish to cancel your request, please press star 2. If you're on a speakerphone, please pick up the handset to ask your question. Your first question comes from Lee Zhang with Bank of America. Please go ahead. Uh, hi, uh, uh,我的问题呢,第一个主要是想请教一下宏观对我们整体业务的影响,尤其是2024年整个的各个各条线business怎么看我们可能整体宏观带来的一些潜在的影响。第二个是想请教一下管理层对2024年的一些大的策略的
啊、呃，我们的这个京东到家业务的这个补贴呀，还有一些这个计划方面的呃细节吧。谢谢。呃 t h a n k s m a n s m a n for taking my question. 呃、uh, ，two questions here. First,、uh, can you share more color with us、uh, in terms of the macro and consumption downgrades, the impact to our business?、Uh, secondly, uh, wondering uh, your overall 2024 outlook, including、uh, the subsidy plan of、uh, JDDJ business. Thank you. 好，谢谢你的问题啊。我先回答一下第一个问题。Thank you for your question. I will answer your first one. 二三年呢，随着经济社会全面恢复、常态化运营，消费市场呢持续修复，但居民的消费能力和消费信心呢有待进一步提升。进入二四年，国民经济持续回升向好，随着一系列宏观刺激政策和促消费政策不断发力显现显效，消费恢复扩大态势将得到巩固和增强。In 2023, as the, <coughs> as the economy and society normalized, the consumption market gradually recovered. Nonetheless, there was still room for consumers' spending power and confidence to improve. Heading into 2024, with the economy poised to further rebound and improve, as well as the introduction of a series of macro stimulus and pro-consumption policies. The recovery and expansion of consumption will be further strengthened. 二三年得益于线下场景的修复和积压需求的释放，餐饮、旅游、文化娱乐等服务消费显著复苏，一定程度上影响了食物消费的恢复力度。从二零二四年一到二月份的消费数据来看，餐饮、旅游等服务消费的需求仍然比较旺盛。但食物消费也在稳步回升，预计今年居民在服务消费和食物消费之间的分配将逐渐变得更加均衡。Last year, service consumption such as catering, tourism, and entertainment boomed thanks to the return of offline consumption scenarios, as well as the unleashing of pent-up demand. Which took off some steam from the recovery of physical goods consumption. Consumption data for the first two months of the year indicates continued strength in service consumption, such as catering and tourism, and a stable recovery in physical goods consumption. Looking ahead, we expect a more balanced wallet share. Of services versus physical goods this year. 即时零售行业呢，还处在发展的早期阶段。长期来看，考虑到消费便捷度和商品丰富度等方面的优势，我们相信即时零售在社零中的渗透率有望持续提升。The on-demand retail sector is still in the early days of development. Given the edge of on-demand retail in both convenience and product selection, we remain confident that its penetration among retail sales can further trend up in the long run.、Um, thank you, Lei,、uh, and I will take your second question.、Um, so, regarding the overall strategy, I think in 2024,、um, you know, with respect to JDDJ. Um, I think、uh, definitely will continue to enrich its supply to meet the rising consumer demand for the online demand shopping,、um, enhancing our user experience and mind share.、Um, meanwhile, I think、um, we will focus on the health of、um, JDDJ's business and improve the operating efficiency in terms of the、um, promotion activities and consumer incentives. I think we will continue continuously invest in a targeted manner to drive the growth, while ensuring ensuring the health of the business by evaluating the ROI、um, across different channels, user demographics, and categories to optimize our subsidy、um, efficiency. And also,、um, uh, with respect to Data Now, I think we all know that Data Now has its own advantageous nationwide wide network. 
So um, Adana will continuously focus on its KA business uh, with sustained efforts to enhance its services and technologies. Um, going forward, I think Adana will work more closely with existing customers while proactively um, acquiring new clients to ride on the boom of on-demand delivery to seek business growth um, along with the efficiency gains. And I hope that answers your question. Yeah. Thank you. Your next question comes from Thomas Chong with Jefferies. Please go ahead. 感谢管理层接受我的提问。我这边有两个问题想请教一下。第一个问题是今年达达闹这边来自K的订单和收入增长趋势是怎么样的？那第二个问题是啊，能否也分享一下我们对2024年JDDJ的业务展望？谢谢
Thank you. Thank you. Your next question comes from Zhong Wang with UBS. Please go ahead. Thanks, management, for taking my question. I want to ask Chinese question. Can you please share with the management what the main focus of the strategy for the year is? It is to increase the user base, increase profitability, and improve the business efficiency. 呃，提升经营效率上将如何平衡？呃，我自己翻译一下。Could management share your strategic focus on JDDJ development? Are we more focusing on user growth and frequency improvement, or are we continue to do more cost efficiency improvement and improve unit economics in 2024? Could you give us more color around balancing the top line growth and profitability improvement? Thanks. Uh, thank you for your question. <clears throat> I think, um, yeah, we have discussed this a lot. Uh, I think on one hand, um, we've always been focused on high quality user growth and high quality uh, improvement in repeat purchase rate and shopping frequency. Um, with users at the heart of our strategy, um, we will continuously optimize our merchandise offerings, um, interface design, and business operations. Um, also, we will continue to unleash more synergies with JD.com to efficiently serve consumers' diversified on-demand shopping needs. I think in doing so, um, we aim to improve the overall um, user experience and to enhance um, user mind share. Um, um, I think for, for this year, JDDJ will focus on the health of its business growth and adapt a more ROI-driven approach to achieve um, high quality growth and operating efficiency improvement. Um, our overall goal is to achieve high quality, healthy, and a sustainable business growth along with the steady improvements in profitability. Yeah, I mean, in the long run, we are very confident in delivering the sustainable high quality growth Thank you. There are no further questions at this time. I'll now hand back to Ms. Caroline Dong for closing remarks. Thank you, Operator. In closing, on behalf of the management team, we'd like to thank you for your participation in today's call. If you require any further information, please feel free to reach out to us directly. Thank you for joining us today. This concludes the call. That does conclude our conference for today. Thank you for participating. You may now disconnect.